What is up everyone? This is the long awaited video on how I am using VS Code. It's a very common question. Um, <laughs> very, it's basically the most, the most asked question on my streams and my videos is, can you make a video on how you are using VS Code? Because you are so fucking fast. How do you do that? Well, this is the video. Before I'm gonna start, uh, like usual, still 50% of my viewers is not subscribed to my channel. So if you like the content I'm providing to you, Consider subscribing to my channel, give me a thumbs up, leave some questions in the comments, ring the notification bell, the whole shebang. Let's go. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is basically I have this beautiful mouse. How can I show you this? This is my mouse. Uh, I'm going to disconnect this thing like this. Boom. And I already have a problem. Uh, let me quickly put it back in because I'm tapped out. So I'm going to quickly uh, click here. So I am in my code. Then I'm going to uh, disconnect my mouse. Here it is. This beautiful mouse, and I'm gonna put it away, far away, like this. And the reason why is because, uh, in my opinion, if you are a developer, of course, what I'm gonna show you guys very important is uh, that this is basically my perception of the truth, right? There is no such thing as uh, good or bad. There's no such thing as something that's better than something else. This is how I use things. This is basically my habits. This is how I. Um, what I learned myself along my uh, developing programming career journey, whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, but the first thing I'm going to show, the first thing I'm going to tell you is very important is that if you're still using your mouse, you should not use your mouse, right? It's, like I said, there is no such thing as good or bad, but using a mouse as a programmer is basically, it's so, it's so terrible. You are basically um, wasting a lot of your potential, a lot of your efficiency, it is what it is. And I'm using Vim commands, right? I'm using Vim commands uh, in VS Code and some other custom binds, right? And of course, I'm going to drop a link with the complete, uh, with my complete settings of VS Code so you can just copy paste and you have the same look uh, that I'm using, right? Uh, but you don't need to use Vim commands specifically. You don't need to use Vim. You can use any other commands or shortcuts um, that is available for you. So you don't need to use your mouse. It's possible. Vim is, for, in my opinion, ideal. But hey, you can use whatever the fuck you want, right? So basically, um, in, in a very important thing is <coughs> in, in my um, VS Code, let, let's open up a file real quick. Right? You can already see uh, this uh, leader in Vim. It's called leader. It's my spacebar. Uh, most of the time with you guys could be your command key or something. I don't know. But with me, uh, basically everything I'm doing, everything is binded to my leader, which is the space bar. And uh, I'm doing like this, this, this thing, right? It's basically um, leader, leader P, which open up this, this, this uh, file fuzzy finder, which is basically the bread and butter of my development uh, stuff. And let's open up a file. Let's say uh, the server thing is pretty fine, right? So we have this server thing. And um, what you basically never see me do is using my folder here, right? A lot of people are basically dragging with their mouse and they're going to their, clicking their files they need to have. That's a very bad behavior. I'm most of the time never ever opening my folder structure, but I can with leader B if you, re if you really want to know, right? Um, so if you want to find files, it's very simple. I'm always using this uh, leader P thingy, which open up the fuzzy finder and then I go, for example, API go or something, boom and I'm at API Go, right? Uh, and I don't need a mouse for that. Very important also is if you wanna uh, be very productive is you need to code in multiple windows. Very important. If you're still coding in a single window, it's so bad. You need to have multiple windows, right? It's a leader V, which basically opens up. For me, uh, like I said, it's my key bindings. Most of the time you're gonna have your own key bindings, but I'm just uh, telling, Telling you that anyway, uh, so multiple multiple screens are very important, right? And but I'm also most of the time, like this time, I have API here and API here, and that's perfectly fine. I do this all the time, opening up two of the same files because, for example, I am sitting here with my uh, make HTTP handler function, right? But I wanna do something else in the same file, and I'm gonna basically keep this function open as a reference because for some reason there are some important stuff in here that's happening that I wanna have my attention on. I can open up two of the same files and then go uh, to the bottom here, for example, and do some other stuff while still having this HTTP handler func open so I can have that as a reference when I'm doing other stuff in the same file. It's perfectly fine, right? Or if you don't do that, then the problem is that uh, if you go down the bottom and you wanna quickly spot 
what's going on in this HTTP handler funk, you can because you need to you, you need to go back above, right? Something like that. Very important, multiple files, right? Uh, how do I navigate between these things? It's all key bindings, right? A lot of people ask me this, well, how, how do you do that? Well, it's key bindings, right? I'm using this leader, leader H for my uh, left screen and leader, I need to check because I don't know, uh, leader L uh, for my um, right screen. And that's how I basically toggle between, right? And then you can do cool stuff like select this thing and then paste it in here, right? Uh, or something like that, very simple. So let's open up main here, for example. Up, you go main. You see this function. You want to copy this. You can. I can select this with V. Then press. How do you call this thing? I have no clue how this letter is called. Y. The Y. Right. Yank. And then I can paste it in here. Something like that. It's very important. Uh, the question is, how do you learn that? Well, you need to do it a lot of times, right? So basically, like I said, I can I can open up my terminal with uh, space G and I can basically do like, for example, make run and then uh, do it away all without the mouse and it's all fine, right? But this is basically uh, a lot of questions coming in from people that wanna know how I do this. It's key binds. It's key binds, it's muscle memory, it's practice, right? Of course, it's going to be very difficult and I'm gonna give you a tip and that's disconnect your mouse and uh, I, am, I have a 60% a 60 keyboard, right? So I don't have arrow keys. But if you have arrow keys on your keyboard, disable them, right? Debind de them, debind your arrow keys and uh, unplug your mouse and just code. Of course, you're gonna be super slow, um, but it is what it is. You're gonna be super slow for weeks. But after that, you're basically investing time right now to buy time back later because I remember I remember when I was doing this on my job, people were laughing at me. People were laughing at me. Uh, I was still using the Vim editor back then. And they were basically just laughing. What are you doing? You slowpoke, right? But right now, they're basically, I'm, I'm faster than the whole team together. It is what it is, right? And now they are crying and I'm, and I'm smiling, right? So be the same. Make it to yourself so hard that you're gonna be, that you're gonna have a good time later on. But these are basically just simple keybinds, right? But if you see my VS code, it's a very stripped down, right? It's a very stripped down uh, thing because I don't like clutter in my code, right? I don't like <coughs> I don't like line numbers. I don't like inline errors. I don't like mini maps and and all that shenanigans. And um, it, like I said, coding is all about getting into the zone. Is getting into your into your zone, into your uh, moment of exploration, into your moment of creativity. It's like, it's the same thing like a painter. You just have the canvas and your pencil and that's it. There, there does not need to be some, some crazy stuff going on. Um, it's just a blank canvas, you and your pencil and a headset and in the zone. That's right, and if you're listening to music, try to listen to music without any vocals because it's going to distract you, right? Of course, a lot of people say, yeah, but line numbers can be handy. I'm not quite sure how they can, uh, in my opinion, because although this is uh, not always true because a lot of these Vim users are using relative numbers uh, because they are using, for example, like you could do something like, um, for example, 10J or something. What happens is that you're gonna go 10 line numbers uh, down. And then if you have these relative numbers, you can, you can do some crazy stuff. Right, you can ease, uh, move around like that, but I'm not doing that. Right, I'm moving my cursor with basically J, K, H, and L. Right, and if I want to scroll, I'm just using Shift and a bracket. Right, and then I can be I can be super fast scrolling to all my code. But for most of the time, uh, I'm basically searching for things like, for example, API Funk like this. Right, you see it's already been highlighted, and then I can uh, cycle between these things. I actually never search like this, like where is my function? Uh, I have the name in my head and I just uh, press this um, slash thingy and then I can search for something like a handle func and then it basically uh, shows me already stuff that I can potentially use. Key bindings, don't search. Uh, I mean, don't search with your eyes, search with the tools you have, it's very important. Uh, but in my, in my opinion, line numbers are basically a waste of time and it's a clutter, right? Because if there is some, some um, if there is, for example, like a stack trace or something and you need to go to line 80, then you just do semicolon, not semicolon, column 80, right? Column 80 or column, for example, column four, boom, and I'm at line four here. And if I do column 50, then I'm at column 50 here, right? So uh, line, 50, line number 50 here. So you don't need them, you just press colon and your line number and you're already there, right? So while you are still searching for your line number with your mouse, 
I'm already sipping margaritas at the beach. It is what it is, right? But like I said, this is a personal preference. This is how I use things. And it's very important as a developer, if it makes sense for you, it does not need to make sense for anybody else. Um, if you are happy with it and you can release your dopamine levels, then it's all fine, right? Uh, but I just want to share you this because it's an insanely asked um, question through all videos and streams, right? So I want to do this real quick. Um, like I said, very important is open up your terminal. Make sure you have binded this, uh, this folder thingy. Actually, you don't need that, right? You don't need the folder thing. You, you, you don't need. You just search uh, with this thing. That's very important. Your fuzzy finder here uh, is going to be your bread and butter. That's, that's so important, right? Um, <coughs> basically, that's it, right? So... Like I said, it's, it's, I don't understand why people are actually asking me this all, all the time because it's it's very simple. My editor is as stripped down as, as possible. I don't have any, uh, almost any extensions installed. The only thing I have installed is like these, these language uh, syntax uh, stuff. And um, that's it actually. And my team is Groovebox. I think that's actually, actually that's the, the, the most asked question of 2022 is what team are you using? Well, I'm using Groovebox and um, what kind of VS Code team are you using? It's basically my own. It's a completely stripped down version and you can find that um, in the link, in the description probably, right? So it's very important and you see still, I'm not using uh, my mouse for anything, right? And that's important and that's that's basically uh, not an opinion. That you could say that's a, it, that, that this is an opinion, but I think using your mouse is so BS, right? Don't do it. Um, you're so fucking slow. Don't don't do it, right? Just disconnect this thing, and it's all fine. Uh, what could we do? What can I what can I show you even more? Aha! Very important is GD. GD is so important. For example, we have this make and server start here, right? So uh, if I want to see, I can press GD, which is go to definition, and in VS Code it will open up this thing. So you can see, even though I'm still not using my mouse, uh, I can see everywhere this is getting used, right? For example. Uh, I'm already here, right? If I go back, I'm back here and I can say, okay, where am I using make server and start? I do GD and I can see it's here, node, node one, node two, node three, and node four. And if I press enter, I'm directly go to uh, that line, right? The same thing, I'm using this all, all the time for the standard library, for example. If you wanna know how this thing works internally, for example, this time.sleep, you can go GD and you're already here, right? So sleep is basically this duration thingy and um, yeah. Basically, if you want to close this file, I press colon Q from quit, colon quit. It's it's a Vim thing, right? If you don't want to use Vim commands, then you should use, uh, I think, the default. There are some some default VS Code uh, key bindings that do that, right? But I'm using this Vim thingy, and then it's closed, and I'm back here, right? Even for uh, HTTP, for example, I just go to get. I can see what's going on here. Uh, for example, oh, this default client, and I can basically, oh, this is a client. And you can go as deep as you want, like transport. Uh, you, you see what's going on. It's super fast and you're basically navigating like Sonic the Hedgehog around all the standard library and your own code to find things. You don't need to open up. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, let's close it up. Right, that's the thing. Um, a lot of comment here in my code. This is basically the GG Poker. Um, what I stream uh, from time to time, we are building a decentralized poker engine in Golang, right? That's the code that I'm showing you right now. Basically, guys, this is it, right? I can show you a lot of stuff. It's it's classic Vim stuff. It's classic Vim commands. Look them up. Uh, but uh, a very important thing is use your fuzzy finder all the time, right? Make make that your your second nature. Fuzzy fuzzy finder game state, for example, boom, and it's already here, right? What is what's going on here? Maybe deal with a return. Look at this. Look at this garbage code. Anyway, um, and of course your your terminal is very important. Your terminal here. Make a key binding for that. And uh, also very important is your split screen. Very important, right? Split screen, leader V, I'm, I'm already here. And I can go left uh, and right and left and right and left and right against the speed of, of light. <laughs> so that's it. That's very important. If you want to close it, uh, colon Q and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's it. If you have more questions, hey, feel free to uh, jump into the Discord community or leave a... Of, or leave a a question in the comments, uh, subscribe to my channel and um, guys, unplug your mouse and get good. I'm looking forward to see you in one of my live streams. Peace. Shit. You see, now I'm scuffed. 
what an ending. So I'm, I'm basically trying to grab my mouse to uh, stop recording on my, on my OBS. So we, you guys, <laughs> you guys still need to be here for a moment. I'm so sorry. Uh, where is my thing here? Look at this, man. A mouse, it's, it's, it's so bad. Let's plug it back in, this guy here. All right, guys, hey, what's going on? Aha, here, here's a mouse, you see? Now, now, now I'm just like you. Thanks for watching, and I'm looking forward to see you in one of my live streams. Peace out.